IFPRI is evaluating an intervention being carried out by uh, Africa in the Volta region in Ghana. Um, this intervention is to promote integrated soil fertility management among smallholder farmers. They're doing this um, in multiple ways. One is through one-stop centers that they're creating, which would be for farmers to buy inputs, sell outputs, and attend training sessions and have a warehouse facility, among other things. And the other one is a training of trainers program where um, extension agents are trained by Africa and other experts on how to explain integrated soil fertility management to farmers via training sessions, demonstration plots, field visits. In addition, they also have radio programs through which they disseminate information about their training sessions and integrated soil fertility management. As with most evaluations, uh, step one is always to understand the project you're evaluating. So the first step that we took was to get all the project documents we could from Africa. Um, so we're actually evaluating the scale-up phase of their project. So we got project documents on their phase one, as well as the proposal for phase two, to try and understand what their thinking was, what the theory of change is. Um, the next step was to actually go and take a visit to the site where the trainings were going to take place and meet with the team in person. So we did a trip to the Volta region. We met with the Africa team. We met with other stakeholders. We met with Agra. We met with the university. We met with different other stakeholders in Ghana. And to get a better understanding of the project and the context in which this project is going to be implemented. Um, we didn't get a good enough feel of the project on that first visit. One of the reasons being that Africa's team, their project team, was not completely in place yet. They didn't have a project manager, they only had one field coordinator and an intern. Um, I met with the project manager who was then hired in Nairobi at the conference that 3IE held. And there we got a little better idea of the project. But this was one of our biggest challenges, which was the project as explained to us in the proposal, then on the site visit, and then on meeting the project manager were all different versions of the project. And we understand that the the way the project was being designed was also being uh, modified along the way. But for us to then plan the evaluation became trickier and trickier as the project itself kept changing. So we took another visit to the region for a pilot study where we piloted some of our survey questions. Um, we met with the team, tried to explain to them what an impact evaluation is. We discussed with them what possible research questions they would have based on what project outcomes they expected. The team sat together over many days and weeks of discussing to come up with the research questions. And from meeting with the team in Africa and from trying to understand the project itself, we realized that the best rigorous evaluation approach that we could take was a quasi-experimental approach involving propensity score matching. So the research questions that we're hoping to answer by the end of this year are all related to technology adoption. Given that this project is was we did surveys about a year and a half apart. We don't expect to see uh, big impacts on you know, farmer welfare, incomes, productivity. We might find some productivity improvements, but we don't expect to find large changes that are measurable in such a short time span. What we're hoping to be able to answer is um, whether Africa's project was effective in making farmers adopt integrated soil fertility management. and try and understand what caused them to adopt it. We're also in the process right now of getting some qualitative data from the field. That will hopefully answer the why. So we conducted our baseline survey in February 2016. Um, we're going back for N-line this, later this year, so July, August 2017. So we hope to have all the data in by August 2017 and then start analyzing both rounds of data we should have some preliminary results by the end of this year. Mm -hmm.